psychologist, Dr. Friendly, reaching out through the air to comfort and to coddle. Today's topic du jour is love. The love that dwells deep in the throbbing mass of tissue that is your heart. The love in your heart contains no cholesterol, even though there is no bypass to love. It doesn't take one of those little balloon thingies to unclog your heart and open yourself to the happy person inside. Bathe it. Powder it. Pamper that happy you with love, and you will never know the heartbreak of rejection. Let's go to the phones. Hello, I'm talking to... Hi, doctor. My name's Vina, and I'm calling about my recent divorce. Stop. You see, Hit I... the pause button and rewind, Vina. You are coming from a place of loneliness. Actually, I'm glad to be free of the guy. It's just that he... I often ask myself the same question, Vina. But I didn't ask a question. Why, just last night in my studio apartment, musing over a hearty soup for one, I said to myself... Uh, yeah, but I was wondering about my ex... Buffy. Mary Ann, look for a prize in cereal. There's no prize in oatmeal, honey. I found the prize in the cereal. That's a raisin. <laughs> raisin, raisin. Wow! I she found stuck raisin. a raisin up her nose. Cool. Oh, oh Buffy. <laughs> Skip, the dog wants a walk. Mm -hmm. No excuses, Skip. Uh huh. Okay, okay. <sighs> Don't walk him, you'll go on the carpet again. Man, that was gross. Skip, walk the dog. Okay, okay, God forbid I should have a moment's peace to read my paper. Okay, not Buffy. Not when I can walk the dog. Buffy, that's enough. This better not be a false alarm, pal. And please, will you hold it till you get to somebody else's yard this time? Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, hold it. Stay, heel, heel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. It's Al. Ahoy there, Skipper! <laughs> okay. So, how's it going, Al? Ah, the happily married Skip Binford. <laughs> Did I tell you my divorce papers came through? A fourth time this week, Al. Yep, Vina and I are officially finito. Well, life's tough, Al. Nothing like a divorce to rip out your heart and leave it gasping at your feet like a dying trout. Colorful metaphor, Al. I blame myself. Me too, Al. Vina claimed I didn't appreciate her. Mm-hmm. She cooked, she cleaned, she took care of me through both hernia operations, and all I did was complain. Imagine that. I even used to whine about walking little Katie here. <laughs> you complained about the dog? And how's that lovely wife of yours? Oh, uh, Bev. Uh, she's fine, great, never happier. That's good, Skipper Doodle. Hold on to her, because it's tough to start over at our age. Lonely world out there. Yeah, I'll bet. Now it's just me and Katie facing the barren unknown. Barren? Um, uh, listen, I, I'd better be getting home. Well, here's to new horizons, I guess. Hey, let's stay in touch, huh? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
Well, we're back, honey. And how are you? Ooh, I like those new stretch pants. All right, what have you done? Nothing. Can't I call you honey? Who are you talking to? Just that squid Al. Thank God he's moving out of town. Oh, I'll bet you're glad he's moving. Venus staying in town. What do you mean by that? Off the couch. Don't think I've forgotten the way you limboed with her at the Waffle Bake Sale. I was just helping her under the bar. You'll be late for work. I mean, oh, I'm really honey. All right, feed the dog, Skip. Mow the lawn, Skip. Zip me up, Skip. First we had a story, then we had a cake. Uh-huh. Then we had a nap time. Then, then yes, <laughs> after dear. nap, we had a wee... That's nice, honey. <laughs> Oh, the dog's not blind. He's been like that since your father took him for a walk this morning. Stupid dog. <laughs> Buffy, it's time for your bath. I don't want to take a bath. Billy, get ready for bed. Aw, oh, Dad, those emergency guys are gonna pull a kid's head out of the sewer. It's so cool. <laughs> Buffy, get back in your bath. I don't wanna take a bath. <laughs> Billy, turn off the TV. But, Dad, this is the best part. They're just about to pull the kid's head out of the well. Look at me, look at me. I'm flying, I'm flying. Buffy. The TV goes off now, young man. But, Dad, they're greasing the kid up! Bed, now. Man, this family stinks. I clean, I clean, I clean. I am twinkling queen. All right, Buffy, just get in bed. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the big bugs bite. Shut up, Raisin Brain. I want a story. No, no story. Now, I love you. Good night. I want a story. Tomorrow, Tomorrow night. night. Go to sleep. Here, let me help you with that, Moo Moo. Moo Moo? You haven't called me Moo Moo in years. You are guilty about something. Guilty? <laughs> me? I mean, look, I... Uh, I mean, marriage is... Uh, well, I don't want to make you feel neglected. Oh, come on, you Skip. Know, it's... It's a barren world out there. I mean, look at Alan Vina. Oh, any excuse to look at Vina. <laughs> Hey, come on, cheapers! Come on, Moo Moo. Don't you Moo Moo me. I saw the way you propped up her pretzels at the community center's Oktoberfest. Oh, they were falling off her costume. What, what, what was I supposed to let her top fall oh, down? Oh, I bet you would have liked that. Oh, come on, Moo Moo. Moo Moo, old McDonald is here. Cereal. <laughs> 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 
Ahoy, Skipper! Your dog's loose! Sorry, boy, but it's against the law for you to be out without a leash. Come here, boy. How many times do I have to tell Billy to fix that fence? Bevy, I'm sorry about how upset you got last night. Believe me, I'm not interested in anyone but you. Oh, Skip, I'm sorry, too. It's just that Venus so pretty. <laughs> no, no, not as pretty as you, Moo Moo. Oh, Skip. Well, look out, little Moo, because old McDonald's back in the saddle. E-I-E-I. -E -I. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm going to get you back. <laughs> out there. Well, here's to New Horizons, I guess. Did I tell them North or South Dakota? Oh, well.
Come on, Katie. Ah! We're leaving on a jet plane. Settle down, girl. You'll like South Dakota. Ah! Attention passengers, Black Hills Flight 2 to Pierre, South Dakota will begin boarding in 10 minutes. Loose dog and terminal. Officers Brinks and Quigley in pursuit. So I'm opening a donut shop in South Dakota. You should stop by. Yeah, right. Would you like another wine, Fizzy? Gotcha. Loose dog apprehended. Attention, passengers. Black Hills Flight 2 now boarding at gate 17. That's us, Katie. Terminal secure. This much not going anywhere. Jeez. Check that. He's going on quickly. Paging Mr. Burton. Miss Young is waiting for you at the baggage claim. I hate these things. What do we look like? Terrorists? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a terrorist to me. Going somewhere? Saddam? Who, me? <laughs> Just a picture of me and the ex. You know how hard it is to let go. <laughs> hey, how'd that dog get in here? Sure am glad the captain decided to let you sit next to me, Katie. I hope I didn't embarrass you when I burst into tears. <laughs> Here's your blanket, Mrs. O'Brien. <coughs> oh, isn't that sweet? It looks like they're in love. But this flight's already overbooked. Bye-bye! <laughs> nice catch. Thanks.
Plastic runway secure. The situation under control. Aw, oh, jeez. Dog's bladder out of control. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs>